Upstate comes up just short in overtime against Kennesaw State and first-year head coach Agnes Sparinato. They are able to put together a tremendous overtime period, pull away from the Spartans, Cole, and it really was a couple of missed free throws toward the end of the game. But the final period, the overtime period, in which Kennesaw State just really had their way with the Spartans. Yeah, and it was a game that could have went either way, Jason. A good game that came down to who hit their free throws, and Kennesaw State did just that. Spartans able to take advantage of some early miscues, especially in the second period when they turned up the intensity, and they were well-rounded in their scoring. Upstate ending up with four different players in double digits. Absolutely, and that was a key for Upstate staying in the ball game just to get them uh, to overtime. That was one of those big statistics that you look at that had a big impact on overtime. Delva, Jefferson, Thorpe, and Swain all with more than 10 points in the contest. But how about the 29 by DeAndrea Sawyers, who really would not be denied down the stretch for Kennesaw State. Sawyers was phenomenal. She uh, is, is, the, is the motor behind that offense. And when she goes, the offense goes. She's fun to watch play. 14 for Branch and 10 for Gianola. It's really surprising to see nearly 30 points on the board for Sawyers when she only had one bucket, <laughs> one field goal in that first half of action. Here's how it broke down by period. You can see Upstate really strong in those first two quarters. And it looked in the second period as we saw a window into how good Upstate can be, like they may be able to steal a victory away here, but late Kennesaw State made it count. Well, you know, that I think that's just coaching. Upstate outscored them in the first, second, and fourth period, but in overtime, when it mattered, the Kennesaw State Owls did their job. And we had two of the best coaches duking it out in the A-Sun, that's for sure, and it turned out to be a great game that could have gone either way. We'll be back on the air Monday night, Lipscomb and Upstate at 7 p.m. on the men's side. Look forward to having you then. For Cole Bryson, everybody on our crew, privileged to have you with us. Spartans, unfortunately, fall in OT, 79-71.